Joyride brought to you by Chambers of Commerce Group Insurance Cloud. Drifting has exploded recently in Asia, Europe, Australia, and now here in North America. It is a form of competitive motorsport where drivers compete almost exclusively in rear wheel drive cars to gain points from judges based on a number of factors. Drift cars are usually light to moderate weight rear wheel drive coupes and sedans, offering a large range of power levels. Uh, drifting started mainly popularizing the mountains of Japan. What in essence is drifting for those that don't know? Well, it's a controlled slide where uh, you look like you're out of control, but the more out of control you look, the technically the better it is. That's the points that you're trying to score, right? Exactly. It's to look out of control, but to be in control. Style is. Style. It's all yeah. about style. Okay. 100%. When most North Americans think of drifting, it seems that Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift comes to mind. However, little known that the drifting subculture originally was made famous from a manga comic called Initial D, which is about a high school student who learns to drift on Japan's mountain roads in his Toyota. Well, the most famous drifter is called uh, Keiichi Tsuchiya. He's known as the Drift King. So that was popularized in Tokyo Drift. So he actually had a cameo in that movie. So he started drifting on the track as a form of entertainment because he figured he wasn't as fast as the other guys. So he would drift to kind of entertain all the, uh, uh, the spectators that were there. And it, that became actually more popular than the racing itself. And uh, he started an actual entire culture where people would be drifting in the mountains and then it eventually became an actual uh, sport. Drift Academy, what is Drift Academy? Uh, Drift Academy is a uh, driving education course that we started uh, in Canada for the first time. It originated from uh, New Zealand and Japan. Uh, over the past five years, it grew into something that uh, has gained a bit of a following. So we decided to bring it to North America for the first time. And I want you guys to come in, stay on the right side. I want you to turn, pull the handbrake, 180 your car and park it between the two spaces. This is Mission Raceway. It's one of the only tracks really in uh, BC to drift unless you go to the island. What can you tell me about the, uh, the students that you've got here today? <laughs> Beginner, day one, uh, eager to learn, open to suggestions, uh, passionate about drifting and motorsports. <laughs> Hey man, how was that? Oh, it was awesome. That's uh, like the best experience. I've never done this before. It was crazy. <laughs> well, Everybody you... should do it. A lot of it's really throttle control because most people either don't give it enough gas or they give it too much gas. So you gotta find that happy medium. <laughs> we good? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look, you split the tire in half. It's like in two pieces. Going through a couple of sets every morning. There's a group in here. Better to use cheap tires if you're going through them. We're doing some donuts and then we have a counter steering donut. 
Then we'll be doing some work with the how to enter a drift using the e-brake. And then the last one, we put everything we learned all together in one. It's now time for a little demonstration into drifting. So for those that don't know, what are drift cars? Basically any rear wheel drive car. A manual transmission is preferred. You can do it in automatic, but it's not quite as good. So basically it's completely stock. The only thing that we've done is it has a drift, uh, a drift button, which is uh, for the handbrake. So that you can just lift it up. That's pretty much all it, and uh, welded diff. That's basically the only thing that's not stock, so. So top three things we need to know about drifting. How to drive a manual. Okay, this is check. A good one. All right, got that. Um, and just not be afraid to just send it. Send it. That's two. Send it. And last, uh, thing. last one. Yeah, I don't know. You just have to be confident, I guess. Fair enough. skating in a car type, like type a little, thing. Like a little pirouette here. Yeah. Okay, Triple so we axle. Just, we get a little bit of speed here. Yeah. We push in the clutch, turn the wheel, hit the handbrake. PM drop too low yeah because then the car will grip up and it'll it you do won't... not want the car to grip no you want it to slide yeah you want it to stay sliding all so... right i think i'm ready yeah let's do it all right so how do we start a drift there's many ways one is uh using the handbrake yep just to pop it out yeah so if i want to kick it out right now pop the clutch in yeah to pop the clutch in Okay, so that's a that's a handbrake turn essentially. Yeah. Yeah. And then to do it without the handbrake, just go around and around. Yeah, so just start off slow and and just turn the wheel. Okay. All the way to the left, and then if you just. Put the pedal to the floor. It's a good thing. And I will get it kicking out. Just like that. up another segment of joyride we'll be right back joyride brought to you by chambers of commerce group insurance plan